Alright, what's good, Yuki Tubers? It's your boy, the greatest noob, T Bird325. Alright, and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to create your own tokens out of super rare or secret rare cards. I wouldn't do it any ultras just because they're ultras. Alright, uh, and besides, not many ultra rares come sucky. Most of them you can use as trade bait. Alright, now, first thing you need to have. Secret rare cards that you're not going to use. In my case, I have a Alpha the Magnet Warrior, a few red eyes black dragons, which came out of Booster 10 5, and I have a Gamma Warrior. Right? You're going to need that. You're going to need Acetone, aka Fingernail Polish Remover. You're going to need some cotton balls. Okay? Cotton balls are necessary for this. You're going to need some markers. I have a whole array of markers right here for it. Uh, and they're going to be Sharpie markers. And you also want to get a really fine tip marker. This is just something that I use to help myself when I'm drawing the image. Uh, and also, you're going to need uh, something to put your cotton soak acetone onto as well as a towel, a hand towel, very small. Uh, you're going to need a uh, pencil, paper, and your imagination. Alright, we're going to start now. Uh, first thing you want to do, pour some acetone into a cap. It's cap, actually. Take your cotton ball, Dip it in the acetone. You want to soak it really well. Take your card that you're going to use and you want to soak this in the middle of the card. More acetone you have, the better the chance the ink is going to come off a lot easier. Now, my teammate who I have to give a shout out to big up to you grasshopper 85 g hopper 85 my boy team true for life you know how we do this all right anyway uh he would suggest that you use a fingernail file a metal one to get the, the ink off i don't suggest that at all because of the chance that you have a chance to uh scratch up the card bend the card ding it ding it you don't want to do that if you want a perfect token like i do i'm a little bit meticulous when it comes to uh, everything around me so i don't really like having a uh, mess of things. So, what you want to do, go with this back up again, with your towel, dip your finger in the acetone. You want your towel to be wet. You're going to use your finger to rub the ink off, okay? Now, you're going to have to apply some pressure, so don't be afraid to get dirty, but do not use your fingernail. That would be the same thing as using a fingernail file. You don't want to do it. Use your finger, and you will find that certain cards are a lot harder to get the ink to come off of, and that's okay. If you want the card to be a token, you will do what's necessary to get what you want. That's my philosophy, at least. Like my team motto is, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Big ups to you, stop sign. You too, Jacob. I forgot your YouTube name. I think it's Beijing Coke. Big shout out to Beijing Coke. And of course, the crazy little kid, Holy Cheetos. Matter of fact, you, Holy Cheetos, you owe me a bag of Doritos. So uh, pay up or I'm going to your town and I'm going to kill all your Miley Cyruses. Oh, also, big shout out to you. I own Miley. Not exactly sure how you own her because she works for me. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, as you can see, it's coming off fairly easily. Now, uh, what you'll notice is as you're starting to rub off, your ink will be coming off on your towel. That once it gets enough ink, you'll want to move your finger to a different spot because you won't have any resistance 
at all, which means that no more ink is going to be able to get on that same spot. So that's when you repeat with the acetone and your cotton ball as necessary. So you're just going to basically use the acetone to weaken the ink and use your finger to basically push it off. And you can do this with super rare cards or secrets. Um, for time's sakes, I'm just going to continue with it um, with have done card. You will want to most likely sketch out what you're going to be trying to do. This is what I did uh, as far as when it came to the Mario tokens that you're seeing in video number one. Sketch it out a few times till you're comfortable with what you're going to be doing because you don't really have any room for error in uh, making this because if you mess up, well guess what? You're going to have to start over. See? I made a happy face, but I'm not so happy. It was supposed to be a smiley face. You're right, a big smile face. So, what I'll have to do is take my handy dandy no wash rag, dip it in acetone, and erase. Okay? Now, It's a huge smiley face, as you can see, what it was intended to be. Now, one thing that I do recommend, however, is when you're starting this off, use your fine tip sharpie. Now, when you're doing this, you do not want to put too much pressure on the, uh, on the card touch it barely enough to get a line on there and the reason why you want to do this is because you you want to place basically a color by numbers type of situation on your card it looks good when you start coloring it in but it's a lot easier as far as uh, the finished product. Now, m myself, I'm more of the uh, the finished line, and that's why I play Yu-Gi-Oh and I don't play Magic because there are no fine lines in Magic, and the cards don't appeal to me, even though there's the strategy behind it. Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm more of the fine line type of person. All right, so we'll just say I got my little fireman here. Okay, I got my outline done. As you can see right here, outline is awesome, or so we say. Um, you don't really want to touch your black, but you want to come really close to it. And as you're doing this, try to keep your um, your momentum going because you don't really want your colors to start drying because as they start drying and you try to add more layers it gets darker and darker and darker alright so we'll say that's part of the rib now I don't have my yellow marker because uh, my friend borrowed it and I never got it back yet but so it's not going to look like a real um, fire in like it's supposed to and you can see oh no I used the wrong color so now it's time to erase it because I messed it up towel acetone wet magic eraser baby magic eraser Uh, now one thing I do have to stress is when you are erasing your card try not to get it too close to the edge you will have to use um, extreme caution because the back of your card can actually start whelping if it gets wet and the, the acetone goes to the side of the card and you'll notice this your first few tokens it's almost 
unavoidable, but it's it's highly preventable. Okay, um, in a few more minutes, I will be uploading more tokens, so I'm going to work on those and get that to you guys. So, for now, I say, ciao, T-Breck25, out of here, one love.